Yo, Brianne Thompson here with Access Flight School. Thank you so much for tuning in. And in today's video, we are going to discuss what an automatic activation device or AAD is and how it works. Before I continue, I would like to mention that Access Flight School is sponsored by AirTech. Therefore, we will be featuring Cypress products in all of our AAD related videos. Though there are many options on the market when it comes to AADs, Cypress is our AAD of choice. Though the information found in this and the following videos are serving as a conduit from the manufacturer, Access Flight School coaches are sponsored athletes and do not represent AirTech directly. If you have any technical questions about Cypress, please do not leave them in the comments below, but address them directly to AirTech. Chances are you were introduced to an AAD during your first jump course. But during a first jump course, there may not have been enough time to go into detail how this backup safety device works. So in this video series, we will go into more depth about what an AAD is, its purpose, and how it accomplishes its mission. An AAD is an electromechanical device part of a skydiver's rig that works as a backup system in the event a jumper is unable to deploy a parachute. Fun fact, Cypress stands for Cybernetic Parachute Release System and it is unobtrusive and can be installed so that it is undetectable from the outside. As skydivers enjoy a day of jumping, the device innocuously does real-time calculations of the jumper's altitude and rate of descent by way of measuring barometric pressure. Your descent rate is the speed at which you are falling towards Earth during a jump. If a set of predetermined thresholds are exceeded, the AAD recognizes there is a problem. High vertical speed at a low altitude causes an AAD to take action. The Cypress does not open or deploy a parachute, but simply cuts the reserve closing loop, which should allow the parachute opening sequence to begin. Because of many variables, this opening sequence may or may not occur at all, or in time to save a life or prevent injury. In an emergency, nothing, including an AAD, replaces your responsibility to activate your reserve parachute in a timely manner. The specific parameters and speeds to cause AED activation will be covered in another video. The Cypress family of AEDs and their intended uses are broken down step by step. You can find it in the link below or by clicking on the tab above. Operating an AED is actually quite easy. If you take off and jump from your DZ, just switch the unit on prior to the first jump of the day. To learn how to do this, please reference the next video. It is not necessary to switch the unit off because Cypress will do this itself. The weather is continually checked by Cypress over the day by measuring the air pressure twice a minute. This means that the unit is always calibrated to the precise ground level. A Cypress consists of a control unit, a processing unit, and one release unit, also known as a cutter. Every time a Cypress is switched on, it measures the air pressure several times in a short period of time, takes the average value as the value for ground level, thus zeroing itself. This happens during the integrated self-test. While it is in use, Cypress continually checks the air pressure while on the ground and, if necessary, adjusts to changing weather conditions. Even though you might need to reset your visual altimeter before a jump, Cypress takes care of itself. This very accurate calibration is the basis for it to recognize the activation altitude and speed. The processing unit contains a factory programmed microprocessor that is capable of real-time calculations of the jumper's altitude and rate of descent based on barometric pressure. By monitoring this data, certain criteria are generated from which conclusions are drawn. Should the conclusion be that the jumper is in a dangerous situation, i.e. high vertical speed at low altitude, the processing unit triggers the release unit to initiate the reserve container opening sequence. The cutter for the reserve loop is completely independent of the rig's primary system. The AAD does not pull the ripcord pin out of the closing loop, but rather cuts the loop inside the reserve container to initiate the opening sequence. An AAD is strictly a backup device and is not intended to replace proper training or timely execution of appropriate emergency procedures. If you are uncurrent or feel uneasy about your EPs, make sure to get with an instructor and do some review. Pulling handles and reviewing emergencies is a good practice no matter how much experience you have. 